Welcome to the Halo Combat Evolved walkthrough, Assault on the Control Room Extras, Alternative Skips and Tricks. The first one is Hog Run. It's a nice alternative and allows you to get through the map pretty quickly, at least the first part of it. The key really is to stay off the ice. And you'll want to have a gunner for this. This is the quickest way, basically, to go with the Hog. They come and place their tanks to defend the entrance to the tunnel. And down here, you've got to run over these hunters. You can't bypass them. Then you'll be safe to get out and use the Warhog for cover, so it'll block any shots coming at you. Same thing when you get out here. When you get to the other side, when you get to the door, you have to run everybody over that can shoot at you, basically. And you can use the hog to cover you. Now when you come out here, what you want to do is uh, just go up the hill and stay off the ice again. Try not to run straight at the jackals. The key is not to stop, basically. Now here, you, there's a big jump, and if you turn into it, you can uh, hopefully go right in in one motion. And you can see I got stalled for just a second, and that gave enough time for one of the hunters to hit me. You have to slow down for that curve right there. And then you're pretty much done. You just have to hop out for the door, and that's it. Number two is getting a banshee. And you can do it either the non-glitch way or the glitch way. And this is a non-glitch way to do it. Now notice where I stop on this hill. You can't go much farther, otherwise you're going to trigger the checkpoint and the Banshee will come down. It's a sniper rocket trick. Basically what I'm going to do is aim as far as I can back on the Banshee. As far back as I can on the Banshee. And hopefully it's going to move mostly laterally. And now it's probably hard to see, but the front is still exposed. If you do it right, the front will still be exposed, and you can do the same thing, aim as far back as you can on the Banshee. Now this one's hard to reproduce. The glitch way is easy to do. And there it is. Now this is going to be the glitch way. It's a glitch because what happens is the explosion pushes it off, but the explosion passes through a stable platform. It doesn't actually break the platform or anything, so it shouldn't be able to do that. Now you go to the second light in from the left, you come straight down to this spot, and then you just switch weapons without moving, and the rocket will go right where the sniper aimed, just like before and the explosion will carry through the platform and drive the, the Banshee right off. It'll take a little practice, but this one's pretty easy to reproduce. And now this gives you an entire, entirely different uh, game, basically. It, it's a huge alternative. You can skip through all kinds of sections after you go through the underground chamber. And you can fly around in here. There's uh, some neat things you can do in here. One is if you fly straight up and then there you'll notice there's little cutouts on the wall where the rock lining the wall has fallen out. You can land in there and it makes a great sniper nest. And there's one on each side. That's what I was just showing. Now the reason I'm speeding everything up is I'm trying to fit so much in into one video. And we've already had a full walkthrough, so we only need one video for tips and tricks. Now you can go all the way down to the bottom of the chasm. If you've never gotten this banshee, you may not have ever done this before. Now once I got outside, I just fly past the dropship. And then there's another banshee up here. Now if you're 
if you want, you can let the guy spawn and take this banshee. You have to get the checkpoint on the ground. At this point, once you get up to that banshee, there's if you stay high, none you'll get no more checkpoints, and nobody else will spawn. And see, nobody spawned here on the second bridge, and you can just skip right to the end. So this is the last banshee, and no one even spawns in this last room, so you're already done. So that's the biggest skip, really. So this is the third one. It's the bridge to bridge jump and skip. So you come out on the double bridges. You jump up on the barrier. You have to do a crouch jump. So you have to jump, or you have to crouch at the top to jump. And now you've skipped several rooms and adjoining hallway and both bridges. Now this is the Banshee Flip. And I'm also showing the alternative of going in first uh, from the walkthrough anyway, going in first with a active camo on. It looks like the covenant dug it up there in those rocks, Chief. We're totally hemmed in. We need to get up this ridge. Marines, hold your positions. We'll handle those guns. Just prior to this, the ridge and get below you've had the tank. last place you can take the tank. So I've just exited the tank. Now you go up to this tree that's behind me right here, and you can see the banshee on the far end of the of the area. And if you flip any vehicle on its backside then the Covenant can't use it. So if you aim at the very end of the Banshee, it should flip over. It'll do this almost all the time. Way to go. And now the Elite that spawns won't be able to use it. And you can use it. So this is really the, the second Banshee that you can get that you're not supposed to. And there he is, he's standing right there. And you can go use that banshee. This Analyzing. is the stone bridge jump and skip. This must be the control room. So this is right near the end. Subtle. The entrance to the control center is at the top of that pyramid structure. And I'm also showing Bringing the alternative there, of how to, to clear this without using active camo. Now if you notice in the beginning what happened is I throw a, a, fr or a plasma grenade at the first elite. He gets stuck. I shoot a rocket at the banshee. And the elite that I stuck blows up and catches the rocket. Just my luck. So the second rocket I shoot to take out the Banshee, I get it. And then the third rocket is supposed to go for the second Banshee. You can actually see a glimpse of it most of the time. And a second elite catches that one. So that Banshee was able to take off. But that's okay. You can take him out pretty quick. You can use the door as a hold point take him out pretty quick with a pistol. Now you just have to clear enough of the bridge so you're not getting shot at too much while you go up the uh, center divider. Now I'm doing this without going down to the bottom, so I'm not going to have a sniper to finish the map. And this is what happens if you crouch too late. I crouched a second late. If you crouch a second before, and I only lost a few bars there of health. If you crouch a second before and do it right, then you'll only lose about a third of your shield. You won't lose any health. So this is how you can finish without using a sniper. That's the end of the gold elite. And one of the two in the back is down now. And there's the last elite. That's it. You're done. Now this is the active camo banshee skip. Basically you just get active camo, walk by everybody, and go right out for the banshee. They're all waiting in the hallway, they don't know you're there, so you can just hop over. Them. This must be the control room. Subtle. Now I stuck the Next elite the and the banshee. The top of that pyramid structure. So now you're free there, just to go to the end. To Let's move on to Halo's control center. Well, I hope you enjoyed the extras, and as Cortana says... This is it.